Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Rosemary, my 30-day beach vlog. So Monday was our driving day. It ended up being about six and a half hours from Orlando. Tater Tot was so happy once we finally got there. Cause it, so we could get out of the car. And this is just kind of downtown Rosemary area um, before we got to our Airbnb. Once we got there, we just went down to Main Street. We just walked around. Tot was, of course, the first. That is not person. He got the first uh, stuff purchased for him. We got him some treats at this cute little dog shop. So I'm gonna find that I still have the Hannah. Oh, it's good. It's good. Definitely tastes very alcoholic, I'm not gonna lie. Dinner at Cowgirl Kitchen and it was so good. So I forgot what all this was called, but you know, we got this, it, it, this was like their specialty pizza and then my mom, I think, got their specialty quesadillas and then Zara got, I think it was like a grouper sandwich and they were all super good. All of our drinks were super good. And same thing, we ended up just walking downtown. This area is so, I mean, you can see why it's like on Pinterest because it very is, it is super picturesque and it always looks nice and everything's super taken, super well taken care of. And then Tuesday was our first full day. We started out and walked Tater Tot, of course. After we finished our walk with Tot, we went to Amavita Coffee. And if you come here, you 100% need to go to this coffee place. It was so good. I got, I think we ended up coming here every single day. But I got like their caramel cream cold brew. Oh, it, it was so good. It's not cheap, I'm just warning you. But it was, <laughs> it was very much worth it. And then after that, we ended up just going down to the beach all day. So the Seacrest Beach was walking distance from us. 
it was like less than half a mile but they do have little trolleys i I don't know but kind of like little trams that will take you to and from the beach as well if you know you have young kids or you just can't walk that far they have a little tram that will take you from the beach back to your airbnb or condo or wherever you're staying And then after our beach day, we stopped at Beach and Brew, and you can get to-go drinks. We got their frosé, and it's it's very good. So if you need a little drink to walk around with um, downtown, I definitely recommend. And then same thing, we just did a lot of walking around the city and looking at the houses, and, and everywhere you go here, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's That's really good. And then for dinner tonight, we went to the, it's called Havana Bar, I believe. All of their drinks and food here were super good. We all got little side salads. And then we got these hot grouper bites, which were so good. And then after that, we went up to, this is in the same hotel building, but we went upstairs to the rooftop bar. And they, it's the same thing. It was super good, had really good drinks. So Wednesday, we did the same thing. We walked Tater Tot, and then we went down to the beach and look at this huge... Um, stingray that was burrowing there and then we saw a huge jellyfish which I did not like but then we saw this huge we think it was a manta ray um, we're not sure but it was just swimming around we thought it was a dolphin for the longest time because you could kind of see those fins but it was it had to have at least been five to six feet wide it was crazy and then for dinner we went to old Florida fish house same thing this place was absolutely delicious um, they're dog friendly taught um, did great the food was absolutely delicious again this is one of those places that is not the cheapest but it was definitely worth it if you can go for one night um the outdoor area was beautiful and then we had extremely fast service and like i said all we all got three got different things and all of it was absolutely delicious We get to watch the sunset out at their kind of back patio deck area. So Thursday, we ended up going down to Panama City Beach. So the Seacrest Beach that we were near is not dog friendly, but, you know, we were okay with that. And we knew he wouldn't be able to last four days at the beach anyways, but we did go Thursday and have a beach day with him down at Panama City Beach. I believe this was Pier Park. So it was all dog friendly and we, he got to run around and dig holes and I got to try to force him to get in the water, even though he really did not want to. And 
and this air this water was super clear and it was a lot calmer so we were actually able to snorkel a lot around here versus the seacrest beach we could snorkel but it's just, the water is just a little bit rougher it may have just been the day that's the days that we went as well He has not developed a love for water yet, even though he's a lab. Um, he's actually, I think he wouldn't mind the water. I think he's really just scared of the waves. So he was mad at me here because he was getting too hot. So I dunked him in the ocean. So that's why he's kind of giving me a dirty look. And you can see he tries. And then the second that a wave comes, he says, heck no. Um, but he's still had a great time. He loves the beach and he loves getting to dig and throw the ball around and stuff. So... So after Todd got thoroughly tired out, um, we just went to the, it's called Pier Park. They had a ton of shops. We didn't go to Margaritaville, but we had to say hi, RIP Jimmy Buffett. And we walked around. We found the cutest little dog store where, of course, Todd ended up getting more stuff. So after we walked around a little bit, we stopped at this Pompano Joe's. We got some drinks, and then we also just got some food to snack on before we made our way back to the Airbnb for a little bit. And then, of course, we had to make our way down to the Sugar Shack. So this was just a huge, like, candy and ice cream store. And I think I was really living living out my dreams in here. Um, I could have spent probably all my paycheck in this store because it was so cute and it was so much fun. And then we, of course, got ice cream because you have to. So for dinner, we went to La Creme Tapas. Um, same thing, just got some stuff to share, some drinks. And then unfortunately, our last day Friday, we just went back down to Seacrest Beach. We could tell that starting Thursday, Friday, it got extremely busy compared to that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We probably saw more people on that Friday, Saturday before we left than we had seen for the entire four days that we were here before. We did end up renting a paddle board this day, so I was able to go and paddle out to a few sandbars.
That Friday, we ended up going and getting lunch at George's down in Alice Beach. Same thing as all the other places here. The food and drinks were delicious. You can't go wrong. And then to end off, end off our trip, Tater Tot was mad because he had to get a bath. So we at least put him in his rhino robe for a little bit. And this was him. He got the zoomies. This has to be one of the cutest things you've ever seen. Saturday, we headed home. So we had a great trip out 30A, Rosemary Beach area. I highly recommend if you are looking for a vacation. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.